okay so welcome guys and today we are going to solve this question the question is you know uh, see uh, this is you know 0 point 0 0.5 kg block okay this is 0 0.5 kg block and this is attached to a spring this is a spring okay guys and the you know the force constant of this spring is you know 40 newton okay 40 newton meter okay the force constant of this spring is 40 newton per meter okay guys and you know this length from here to here you know this length is 0 0.6 meter okay this length is 0 0.6 meter okay guys and you know and we had applied a constant force okay which you know which is you know to the right and this force is you know 20 meter 20 newton this force is 20 newton okay guys and okay so we have to find what is the speed of this 0 0.5 kg block when it reached to this point okay this is the first question and the second question is that you know when this when this you know this block reached here we had removed this force okay we had removed this force so we have to find out you know what is the minimum distance between you know wall and block we have to find out what is the minimum distance between wall and wall and uh, block okay so guys here you know again here you know if you try to solve such a question with the help of you know newton's law then it will be very hectic for you okay so we are going to solve this question by you know by considering you know energy energy we we'll first check whether energy is going to be conserved or not if energy is not going to conserve then you know we will apply work energy theorem okay so guys here see here you know we have to know we condition under which energy is going to be conserved okay condition under which energy is going to be conserved okay so you know energy is going we conserved when only conservative force is doing work okay energy will be conserved when only conservative force okay okay energy will be conserved energy will be conserved okay will be conserved when only conservative force okay conservative force do work do work okay guys so if you draw here if you draw the free body diag diagram of this block okay if you draw the free body diagram of this block let me draw the this block okay you know see this is the block this is this is the block and here the forces acting on this block is you know here in this direction there will be you no know, 20 newton force and this force is you know external force this force is external force and you know guys of in okay this force is external force first thing and you know second thing is you know this force is not going to be always constant okay from here to here the force is you know 20 newton and at, at after this point this force is vanished okay so in simple sense i can say that you know this force is not going to be remain constant throughout the period okay it will remain constant you know in some interval time after that it 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 vanished okay so here you know i can say that you know f is not a conservative force okay why it is not conservative force because it is not going to remain constant for whole time okay throughout throughout the, you know of throughout the duration of observation okay so yeah, f is not is not a conservative force and second thing here guys you know this is spring a spring is a conservative force okay a spring is a conservative force you can see it in my lecture okay a spring is a conservative force okay uh, so you know here and this 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 20 newton force is doing work okay this 20 newton force is doing work okay so you know guys so here a non-conservative force is doing work okay so here energy is not going to be conserved okay energy is not going to be conserved okay so guys you know we will try to solve this question some part of this question you know with the help of you know work energy theorem okay so here we we will apply work energy theorem work energy 
theorem energy theorem okay so you know guys so work energy so what is the you know what is the work done what is the work done by this force this f force so work done is equal work done work done by f okay f is equal to work done by f is equal to you know 20 into 0 0.25 that means you know 1 by 4 this means you know 5 joule okay work done by 20 this mm, this force is 5 joule okay guys now and 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 if if you look at this you know work done by spring work done by spring work done by spring so guys you know work done by spring is basically minus okay you should find out you should do it by yourself okay minus of force force is equal to you know kx that means you know 40 into x dx okay if you are not able to understand why then you see you should see my you know earlier lecture in which i had explained how to find you know calculate work done okay so work done by this spring will be you know from 0 to our limit will be 0 to 0 0.425 okay so you know this guys become you know 1 minus 40 by 2 into x square okay and this will become you know minus 40 by 2 into x this means you know, 1 by 4 whole square okay guys so look at this you know this work done become you know minus 20 by 4 into 4 okay so this will be basically minus 5 by 4 joule okay so what is the net work done you know net work done will be net work done be you know at summation of these two net work done net work done will be you know summation of these two guys net work done will be basically uh, 5 minus 5 by 4 okay that will become you know 20 minus 5 that will be 15 by 4 joule okay guys you know and this should be equal to change in kinetic energy this should be equal to you know change in kinetic energy so 15 by 4 this should be equal to you know change in kinetic energy half 0 0.5 this is the final kinetic energy into you know guys here initially this you know whole system is in rest okay so b square minus 0 okay guys so let me write here okay you can see it so you know guys here 15 by 2 into 0 0.5 is equal to guys you know v square so if you see here v square is basically root 15 okay v is equal to basically root 15 okay so we had find it now what is the velocity here okay what is the velocity what is the velocity at this point so we had you know solve the first question okay see here here energy is not going to be conserved okay we had used you know work energy theorem okay not conservation of energy principle okay guys now at this point what happened that you 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 have you know remove this force f so guys here now there is no force you know one there is only one force which is you know which, which is the spring force is present here okay there is only one force which is the spring force is present here okay so you know when you remove when you when you remove this when when you remove this force f then you know only one force is present which is and that force is conservative force so you know at that instant of time you know guys uh, energy is going to be conserved after that energy is going to be conserved okay so let us write down you know conservation of energy so you know guys energy will be what will be energy what will be energy at this instant e1 is equal to you know guys potential energy of this spring that will be you know half 40 into uh this this is you know 0 0.45 that means 1 by 4 whole square 
plus kinetic energy plus kinetic energy that will be half you know into 0 0.5 okay into you know guys and this 15 b square that will be 15 okay so you know energy will be in this form okay guys so thi this is you know initial energy and you know guys here we have to find out let me you know guys what is happening here you know guys see here after that you left it okay and then you know if velocity is, is in this direction so it will move somehow some some distance in along this okay and you know guys and after that it will start moving along this and it is you know some position at some position here okay let me draw the diagram you know after some time it will reach at some position here okay and we have to find out you know what is this position we have to find out what is this position with respect to equilibrium point okay guys so we have to find out what is this position and then you know we'll find this distance okay so guys when no, when this reached at this position which is you know at which this is the minimum distance this means guys you know velocity along this will be zero this means you know guys this block has no velocity zero velocity this means you know kinetic energy at this point in the this block is zero okay so yeah these things you have to use you have to analyze this okay okay guys so So wha what will be you know what what will be e2 e2 will be simply 1 by 2 40 x square let's suppose this distance is x from here to here this length is x okay so so you know So if you look at this, so E1 is equal to, you know, this will be 20 by 16 plus, you know, 15 by 4. Okay. And this become, you know, this will become 20 X square. Okay, guys. So what it be what what it become okay let me you know so let me write up this will be you no know, four this will be four so guys if you look at this this will become you know 80 by 16 by 20 this will become you know x square so what is the x here x square become you know guys if you look at this this become you know one by four so what is the x x is equal to basically 0.5 okay x is equal to basically 0 0.5 so if you look at this you know if if you look at this guys you know so this this 0 0.5 this basically 0 0.5 0 0.5 is you know this length this length is basically 0 0.5 okay and this length is you know from here to here okay guys see here you know this length this length is 0 0.5 and this length is 0 0.6 okay guys so you know he this length will be 0 0.1 okay so minimum distance this length will be you know 0 0.21 okay guys so hope you like this videos it is quite simple question okay okay guys and if you like it then like 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 this videos and you know guys if you have any doubt then please comment in comment box okay i will definitely reply when i find time okay and subscribe my channel and share it among your friends thanks for watching